Hi, uh, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mentor Tutorial JCL Class 2. In my last video, we were discussing about and understood about what is JCL and uh, its important usage of the JCL and what is meant by job, exec, and DD. That is, the what is the main task, subtasks, and uh, what are the data sets. I hope you all got a basic understanding about the JCL scripting. And, all, and we also saw the JCL standard structure where how do we code at the JCL. So in this video, I would like to share the knowledge about what is positional and keyword parameters and what is job card. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and start this JCL video 2. Positional and keyword parameters are very important at the job level, activity and DD level. We would be using this parameter at each levels. Those are at job, activity and DD. Let's look into the more details about the positional parameters. Uh, these parameters are mandatory and it must be coded after operands with one task. Mainly we use two parameters at the job level that is accounting information and another is a program name. What is mean by accounting information? These parameter must be coded immediate of the, the operand and it should contain 1 to 20 alphanumeric characters. This is mainly used for billing purpose. I mean, it can, it can say like this will be used to record the job CPU time of IBM server and used for billing purpose. See, whenever we run uh, this mainframe, uh, mainframe, since the mainframe systems are very high processing systems and uh, it processes large volume of data, so it acquires, uh, it occupies a large volume of storage area and the large machines are kept in a remote locations, which are very costlier than compared to other technologies. So the IBM would be charging for a specific job run. So in order to do that, we will give uh, some accounting information while creating a job so that it will record how much time it took to complete this particular job. So, so based on that CPU time, they will be charging a billing. Billing will be provided based on the CPU time. The same way, the next important positional parameter is the program name. It is another parameter which is used to identify the programmer name. It should also contain 1 to 20 alphanumeric character same like than accounting information. For example, below is the example followed by this is the job name, job operand, these are the two positional keyword parameters, accounting information I'm giving it as a first job or no I can give it like something mainframe tutorial So yeah, this should be a standard. And uh, the next one is the program name, programmer program name. Just I'm simply use giving it as a Kumar. And the above access in the above MF tutorial represents the accounting information and Kumar represents the programmer name. The program name. It's a programmer name. The next one is the keyword parameters at job level. I need to make some important note here. It's a programmer name. So next uh, the thing is key, uh, keyword parameters at job level. So this was about the positional parameters which we, which we discussed just now. So the re 
to tell it again these are the only two keyword I mean these are the only two positional parameters which we using in JCL according information and programmer name according information is used for to capture the CPU time and create for billing purpose next one programmer name represents to identify the programmer name in the same way we have as I told we uh, keyword uh, keyword parameters would be used at the different levels different levels in the sense we can we have a different keywords parameters for job level at DD level and at the same time at activity level so now let us not talk about the keyword parameters at job level keyword parameters can be coded in any order and these are not mandatory whereas positional parameters are followed by the job operand these are specific to the fixed positions whereas the keyword parameters it is non mandatory to have a placed in a specific positions or a specific order so here for example I cannot place the programmer name here and uh, the according information here I cannot change the position whereas for the keyword parameters it is an optional various parameters at job level are like class message class message level priority notify and type rank note that these are the only keyword parameters which we are using at job level there sh there will be a separate keywords used at the activity level and the DD level so the first is about the class what is class class keyword parameter it is used to categorize the job based on CPU time these parameters are defined by operators depends on the installation they choose we use a class as A to Z or 0 to 9 for example in the job after the positional parameters we are placing uh, the keyword parameters the same way we will be having another keyword parameter called message class it is used to route the diagnostic message that is pass or fail or success or unsuccess to a specified destination for example it, it is uh, this is it is kind of a log where we want to route the messages so where I can store the logs in different destinations like the printer like spool or an auxiliary storage area and we can s we can send this we can pass these messages to an auxiliary storage printer and a spool for example I am coding it as a message class is equal to a it can be a to z it depends upon the operator installation they specify sometimes it can be it uh, 1 1 um, 0 to 9 or a to z for example if I giving message class equal to a it might be it might be going to auxiliary storage it is defined by the operator if I'm giving it as 1 it might be sending it to a printer okay uh, if I'm giving it as 2 it might be sending it to spool if I'm giving it as 3 it might be some other purpose so it depends upon the operator which the mainframes in system has been installed below is the example so the next keyword parameter is the a message level which is used to control volume of the messages message level consists of two sub parameters one is statements and another is message statement is used to specify the type of message whereas message is used to specify status of job that is normal or abnormal statements can consist of 0 1 2 0 is for job related messages 1 is for uh, all messages and e2 is for dd or activity related message so since we spoke earlier the about the job about the exec and about the dd here here clearly indicated zero is for job related message one is for all messages and the dd is for two is for activity or dd me messages message consists of zero comma one 
which indicates normal or abnormal by default we give one comma one why because we wanted to see all the messages related to it it might be job it might be dd or activity so you can see below is the example of the message level see where i'm giving message level equal to one comma one so in the same way we have another keyword parameter called priority it is used to send the priority to jobs by giving specific values ranging from 0 to 14. for example uh, there are a thousands of jobs which are running running on the systems so if i want to give priority to my job out of thousand i want to run at after the tenth job is completed or something so i want to make my job as a priority then uh, we need we need to use a uh, keyword parameters called priority p r t y which gives which gives the priority to which assigns the priority to your job it is ranging from 0 to 14 highest the number highest will be the priority notify this is another keyword parameter used to send notification about the job status once the job is executed it will be sending through uh, it will throw a written code it will throw a, some written code with zero or four stating that so and so job has been completed and you can go to spool and check the job log or this job status of it so in order to do that in the job card uh, when you uh, uh, along with the other keyword parameters you need to specify a keyword parameters called notify equal to ambassadors um, uid or you can directly give the give your user id the mainframe user id so that was about the notify keyword parameter in the same way we have another keyword parameter called type run this is very important this is the parameter used to check the syntax errors of the JCL programs and execute the JCL programs. So, you have written a JCL program with specifying all the keyword parameters, activity level, and your DD level, and everything. So, before you run any JCL program, so first of all, you need to check the syntaxes of that particular JCL. So in order to check that, so you need to specify a specific parameter called type run equal to scan. So what it will does is, it will scan all the JCL, it will scan the entire JCL and checks if all the parameters or the positions are placed in a correct, correct positions and the correct, uh, correctly placed. If there is anything fault, it will throw a message and you can log, go to spool and check the message and correct it and uh, rerun it and check it if it is good then you can change this type run equal to run and you can then execute your program so th this is very important in and in, in the in the real time just let me update this yeah okay so, so that was about the importance of type run so it is the best practice of using type run equal to scan whenever you call a JCL. Yeah, that was about the keyword parameters at the job level. Now we would be, we would know, since we are now aware about the what is the operand, what are positional parameters, and what is the keyword parameters. Now I have a question for you. What is a job card? Yes, job card. Job card is a combination of job name, job operand positional and the keyword parameters it is a very important question asked when we go for interview so please kindly make a note of this below is the complete job card the where it shows the job name job operand positional parameters this is for accounting information and the programmer name and from class to type run these are the various keyword parameter which we discussed about so that's all about uh, today's in this video i would be coming up with the more details about the jcl so below would be my next class 
which will cover the below topics in this we will be discussing about the what is the keyword parameters at the activity level keyword parameters at the DD level and the sample JSTL script with all keywords and the positional parameters and in order to write a JSTL we, we need to understand what is a PS and what is mean by PDS which will be occur which we these words you will be coming across more and more so in order to do this we, we need to understand what is PS and what is PDS and the same way after completing this we would we would learn about the creating and deleting a data sets so thank you for watching this video if you like my class or video please subscribe thank you everyone and have a good day